I am a customer and I want to make a boarding reservation for my cat with my favorite pet care business. So I click the reservations tab. I land on the login screen. Since I've used this business before, I already know my username and password and I enter my control panel. I see my profile here. I can update my phone number or my address. I can also manage my pets. My dog's name is Rue. My cat's name is Bo. If I need to add a new pet, I can do that here. If I want to look at my previous reservations that I've had with this business, I do that here. And I can pull up their invoices. If I want to make a new reservation, I do that here. I want a boarding reservation. My cat wants to be boarded in the master bedroom. From October 3rd to October 7th. It says it's available. And as I said, my cat's name is Bo, so I want this cat to be boarded. I'm going to secure this reservation. From here, I can add a special service. This business provides medication administration, and my cat needs subcutaneous fluids. Just once a week, in the evening, so I need to choose the day. I'm going to select the fifth. hit submit and now this subcutaneous fluids becomes part of this reservation I hit continue and I land on my invoice I have outstanding invoices with this business so I can click on those outstanding invoices and see what is outstanding and for what services if I want to pay those by credit card, I can click Pay Invoice with Credit Card. It comes preloaded with all my billing address. If I want to pay the balance in full, that's automatic. If I want to pay a different amount, I can do that as well. At this time, I'm satisfied. And I want to just make sure that the reservation is there for confirmation. And here it is. And I also receive an email confirmation. So as soon as I check my inbox, there'll be an email there waiting. I'm, I'm done. I log out, and I come back and interact with this business the next time I want to make a reservation. Have fun. Good luck.